Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn to do story sums in maths with four digit numbers. Now what are story sums? Story sums as the name suggests are sums that you have to do from a story given you pick up the statements and sentences. How do you understand whether it's an addition story sum or a subtraction story sum? In an addition story sum, you have the words altogether, in all, sum, total. So these are the key words that you search for in an addition story sum. So that you are sure that it is only addition. Now let's read this story sum given. 3,172 people visited the exhibition on Saturday. 5,981 people visited it on Sunday. How many people in all visited the exhibition on the two days? So our keyword in all, as I told you, sum, total, in all, all together. So we know this is an addition story sum. Alright. Then I put my place value of my houses. Thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. I pick up my statement from the story itself. Number of people visited on Saturday. Number of people visited on Saturday. These are called key words. Number of people visited on Sunday. People visited on Sunday. Again, you just pick up the key words. I put the digits in the correct houses. I place them correctly. I know in all. Therefore, it is an addition sum. Therefore, Total number of people, I add up 2 plus 1, 3, 7 plus 8 is 15, I carry over 1, 9 plus 1, 10 plus the carry over 11, 3 plus 5, 8 plus the carry over 1 gives me 9. In total, 9153 people visited the exhibition on the two days. I have picked up my statement at the end from the question itself. Now we are going to learn how to write a story sum in an exercise book. This is what your exercise book looks like. You will turn it this way and hold it. You will put your date on the left hand side corner write story sums question write down your story sum leave one line and then put your house thousands hundreds tens and ones you will leave one more line tell me why yes if there's a carryover you need to put those digits there then you write down the first statement the next statement if you please you may leave one more line for neatness Therefore, total, draw a line and do your addition. Do not forget to put the addition sign. You can leave one more line to make your work look neat and write answer and then your end statement. You must always remember that you must do one sum on a page always so that your work is presentable and neat. I hope you have understood how to do addition story sums with four digit numbers. Thank you.